This demonstration is going to show you how to work with bitmaps in Flash. I'm going to show you two methods for working with bitmaps. One will just be using the bitmap as is, compressing it so that it doesn't take up as much space. The other method will be to use the trace bitmap command to convert a bitmap image into a vector for use in Flash. You should always be aware of royalties, copyright law, and any images that you use, you need to make sure that you're not violating any laws or copyrights. I took a picture of, or a clip art of the dog from this site, which just wants credit for you using their work. So this is where I got my drawing of the dog. I banned, totally free, royalty free. The photos in this I took myself. We're going to start with the trace bitmap command. I have the dog GIF that I got from the website, which I'm going to drag onto my stage. I'm going to use my free transform tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down to constrain proportions. And I'm going to change the background color because I'm not sure if it has a transparent background or a white background. So I'm going to make a bright green because it's not a color that's in the picture. I'm going to select my image using my black arrow selection tool. I'm going to select the trace bitmap command. To get to it, you go to the modify modify bitmap trace bitmap. You have different settings in here. The higher the color threshold, the bigger, the more dissimilar the colors can be for it to grab it into a block. I'm going to set this to be 50. I've got a minimum area of, I'm going to make it 8 pixels. That's the smallest block of color it'll pick. Color threshold, many corners, curve fit, very tight. I can preview that, and you can see that it looks very cartoony, but I'm losing some of the details. So I'm going to try setting the color threshold lower. I'm going to have this, and I'm going to have this, and I'm going to preview it again. Much better. I could still go lower yet. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to hit OK. This is different from the Modify Break Apart because everything in it is now a block of color. And so I can grab, I'm going to select off of it, it's thinking about it. The tighter you make your selection, the more memory it takes up. Okay, I forgot to deselect. Oh, it's acting really buggy. This is not letting me select areas the way it should. I'm going to Command Z to undo. I'm going to try Modify, Break Apart, I'm sorry, Modify, Bitmap, trace bitmap, and we're going to set this back up to 25. Hit OK. There, now it's working quickly. I can click, I can delete, I can get rid of large box of color fairly quickly, and clean this up. Just by pulling out the blocks of color that I don't want. I haven't cleaned it up completely, but that sort of gets the point across. When I were when I finished, I would want to convert it back into a symbol. I'd right click and choose convert to symbol or hit F8, GR dog, and that gives me a graphic symbol that I would be able to move across the stage and use as I wished. In my library, I also brought in two photographs. This is a photograph of Ireland. I'm not going to make it fit the stage. Ideally, how I would use this would be as a background. I want to show you what happens when you try and do a trace bit back map on a photograph. I'm just going to leave the settings the same. And you can see it's in here, but it looks very stylized and painted. 
It's not bad, but it's not great. For the most part, I don't want to do it. I'm going to undo. The way I would really prefer to use this, I deleted everything, I hope. Now we can just put in a new layer and delete that one. There we go. There we get a completely clean layer. If I really want to use this, I would probably be using it as a background. And I can go into the properties and I can actually just compress the image, which will reduce the amount of space it'll take up and make the movie run faster. And then I would stretch it to use it as much of my background as I wanted to, or in a slideshow. There are a lot of times you actually want to use bitmaps um, for any sort of presentation, things like that. If you have a real photograph, photographs do not tend to convert well using trace bitmap. I am going to do one more though. This is a photo of a cow from Ireland, and because of the color differences, this one would actually clean up pretty well, and you can create sort of a cartoon image from a photo with this technique. So I'm going to select Modify, Bitmap, Trace Bitmap. We'll leave those settings. Notice it takes a little bit longer because it's a complex photo. And this actually came in pretty good. And I can easily get rid of the other areas. I could also use the lasso tool at this point if I were had better hand-eye coordination. And you could use the lasso tool to clean up big blocks. That would have worked better if my dog had not bumped my hand. But you can see that you can use different tools in here to bring in bitmaps a variety of different varieties, pings, GIFs, JPEGs, and you can work with them in different ways.